Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hey fish family, welcome back to Tabatak Aquatics. I am Ross, and you're in my fish room. Uh, first of all, uh, Ramadan Mubarak, or a blessed Ramadan to all of you who are observing uh, Ramadan. This is a very special time, and uh, I want to wish you all Ramadan Mubarak. All right, first of all, uh, long time no see. Um, I hope you guys are happy to see me. <laughs> I know I haven't posted anything in a long time. I've uh, been very busy with uh, projects and all that good stuff and Ramadan, uh, observing Ramadan. In any case, um, I'm not going to be too wordy. I'm going to tell you that uh, today's video is about a fish that I have in this tank right here behind me. Uh, those of you who have, who have been here on to my channel have seen this tank before and uh, have seen most of the occupants in this tank, but it's a fish in here. It's a very interesting oddball fish that um, I don't go into too much and I haven't been giving it. It's just due. Uh, and it is called the Chinese Marbled Gobi. Very popular fish, uh, especially in Southeast Asia. Uh, it is a food fish, but also it is a very popular fish in the ornamental fish trade as well. Uh, oddball fish uh, that gets very, very large. And uh, it's very interesting to me. So. Um, I value it and uh, I have been given this just due. So today we're gonna to go into uh, a little partial, uh, I guess, species spotlight and uh, highlight my uh, Chinese marble gobi. All right, y'all, hold tight. There's my uh, gobi, he decided to come out from hiding. Here we see my um, Chinese marble goby, just relaxing. Um, beautiful fish, beautiful specimen. Um, he's a nice, good size. He usually chill out. He don't bother anybody. He's not aggressive. Um, he don't take a whole lot of mess neither. He he won't really, um, you know. He he shy away from fighting. Hit, but if you harass him, if other fish harass him he'll you know buck up on him and you know get him off him or whatever but you know uh, he's real chill you know he's an ambush predator you know um, he haven't preyed on anybody yet that I know of because um, I make sure that I put appropriate size uh, tank mates in here for him but you know he's gonna outgrow all of them so pretty soon I'm gonna go ahead and put him into my monster predator tank because he's about the size he's almost the size of the uh, giraffe catfish. He's not quite that size, but almost that size. But I want to make sure that um, that he's the appropriate size going in that tank so that nobody will pester him to death. You know, um, I'm hoping that they're probably mistaking him for one of the giraffe catfish because I got um, two dwarf giraffe cats in there and a standard giraffe cat uh, in there. But, you know, there he is showing you a profile and he's going to go hide under his, uh, under his driftwood where he like to hide under. So, um, anyway, let's talk about him a little All bit. Alright, so there's the goby. I had to, I had to switch to my, uh, camera phone because, um, my SD card is full on my camera. And it happened midway between me uh, filming this. But good thing I have a, uh, a really good camera phone. I should have been using this. <laughs> this looks great. I wonder how much footage that I saved or that I have from that, uh, from that camera. From the gimbal. But in any case, uh, the uh, Chinese marble goby, they are very popular. They hail from uh, Southeast Asia, very, uh, very popular over there in Laos, Malaysia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Philippines, Singapore. Um, they are brackish water and fresh water. So they can do either or brackish water or fresh water. Uh, warm temperature, not really, not super warm, but they can uh, stand a, a pretty wide variety of kind of cool to warm temperature water. Uh, like I said, from 
fresh water to brackish water, so uh, they can tolerate a lot of change and a lot of a wide variety as far as the pH is concerned. Very hardy fish, uh, very popular in Southeast Asia. Um, it's also a food fish over there, you know. Um, they say that it's pretty good eating, you know. Um, but, you know, they, they, they do good also uh, as far as in the ornamental uh, fish trade or ornamental aquarium fish trade. Um, they will get about average, uh, the average around 12 inches. They say most of them that you find is 12 inches, but uh, the older ones, longer lived ones, um, will get to be about 26 inches. You know, so um, these guys are uh, monster fish in their own right, okay? Um, ambush predator, they just lay still, you know, chill out, uh, hang out in the mud or sand or, you know, between the rocks and driftwood and just chill out most of the day. And um, when easy pickers come along, they, you know, spring surprise, gotcha. You know, one of them type of things. Um, as you can see, this one loves freeze-dried krill. Uh, it loves the um, the massive or the lights, the uh, massive repellers. That's why I put some in there. Here he is. He's going up to get himself some more krill. Get out the way, Geo Fagus. It's not about you. Come on, man. Show him what you got. We missed him doing most of his feeding and everything while I was changing off uh, my camera and gimbal, uh, you know. Now, what they spooked about, I do not know. But he don't spook easy. The rest of the fish, they spook. You know, I don't know what they spooked out about. But uh, the marble goby, um, pretty beautiful. Uh, look at the beautiful markings on them. If I can get these guys to stop photobombing. Look at the beautiful markings on them. Good looking fish. There he is, he sees something he wants. He's gonna get it. You know, just very opportunistic. Just a piece of krill that's floating by that he wanna get. Go, so he went and got it. My man, I'm gonna have to give him a name because I really like him. But um, like I said, as you can see, um, he's a good size. Really, um, I probably could just put him in that predator tank now but I don't want to rush it because um, I've lost, you know, some really good, you know, specimens by moving too fast and lacking the patience, you know, putting them, putting them in there too soon and they can't uh, survive, they can't hack it. Either they can't compete or the other fish just pick on them and bully them around. So I'm gonna give them a little while longer to get some more size on them, um, but I'm gonna have to get him out of here uh, in due time, in the uh, in the Kiri Bicher uh, that's growing pretty fast, and then I got uh, I got these uh, these bring the pikes in here that's going to come out of here as well. But um, there you have it, y'all. My um, get out the way. Oh, he's going to go again, my man. There you go. Thanks for the encore. There you have it, y'all. The Asian marble goby. Very interesting uh, audible fish to have. Uh, very easy to keep as far as I'm concerned. Very hardy. So if you find one, I think it's worth the worth uh, it's worth it to get it. Uh, but don't think that you're gonna put it in the community tank with community fish that's small, because anything that he can fit in his mouth, he will. Okay. If he, if it can fit in his mouth, it goes in his mouth. All right, fish family, there you have it. Um, just checking in and doing a real quick uh, download. Haven't talked to you guys in quite a minute. Um, sorry if I bored you, but I hope you did find this interesting. Uh, I think that's a very interesting fish uh, to have, very interesting oddball fish uh, to have. And it is absolutely worth um, the journey because um, it's very personable. They will eat from your hand and all that good stuff. Um, and y'all tell me what you think in the comments. Um, Chinese marble goby. That was just uh, my version of a species uh, spotlight on that fish. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you all for uh, being subscribers. Thank you for uh, 
following me and uh, supporting the channel. Uh, those of you who have not um, subscribed or who you know you might be watching this for the first time, uh, please uh, please consider subscribing and uh, do hit the uh, the like thumbs up the like button and um, leave a comment. You know um, the most the more activity that that we have here, um, it works uh, and benefit of growing this channel. And um, I did make it over uh, 500 subscribers. Uh, it, it took a long time, but. Thank you, uh, all of you who helped me get there. And until next time, happy fish keeping. Assalamu alaikum. Uraq Mansalahi. Rabbi Katu.